Hi, this is a just a quick review and comparing the uh, two Nikon Pro lenses, 24 millimeter 1.4G and 85 millimeter 1.4G. Uh, they're about the same size and weight. I think 24 is a little bit heavier, and the filter size is same, and they're 77 millimeter. Actually, the uh, the cap is interchangeable, exactly same size, and the back cap on these. I think this is the newer one, newer design. This is the older version. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I know some 24 millimeter. The earlier uh, copy have the older cap and there were some focusing issues with it and right now I have uh, uh, two DX bodies I have an upgrade to FX body I'm just still waiting for the uh, D800 announcement uh, for the 24mm uh, on a DX body I notice if you put the focus mode on AFS um, it locks on focus and it's, it, you get that tack sharpness that this lens is known for so I would put the focus mode on on AFS to use the uh, 24 millimeter on uh, DX body on FX body I'm I am some people reviewers saying that you need to have some micro adjustment but I don't know that yet well I'll know when I get there um, the 85 is a great lens I mean I've, I mentioned this earlier Comparing the front element, uh, very thick and big lens, big glass. Um, it's like the 24 has more smaller lens, but rounder, more globe. And the sharpness wise, I think these two are top two or three among Nikon lenses. Um, usually the 85 is seems sharper. It's actually it is sharper lens than 24. I think the sharpest lens currently on Nikon is the 105 millimeter 2.8, the micro lens. I've I've used that for about a year and uh, it's a great, very sharp lens. Yeah. Just that wasn't I don't shoot macro that much, so it wasn't justifiable to, for purchase and so the other issue I have with 24 is even though you have it on uh, autofocus it's, it's very difficult to focus beyond uh, 5 or 10 feet I've noticed you really have to especially at 1.4 um, I've been just using live view and using the uh, the, the focusing on the, uh, the the monitor instead of using the uh, the viewfinder and that seems to work a lot better so for 24 millimeter you have to figure out and kind of play with the focusing mode and see what works best on your body and with the hood on and 24 has a wide angle hood of course which is has this concave or lower hood on the uh, side for the wide angle and 85 is a telephoto 85 millimeter is great on DX body because already you have that crop sensor so and you're getting you're using that small part anyway when you use telephoto you're zooming in and using the uh, small area so I, I highly recommend 85 on DX uh, 24 I would um, compare to um, 35 millimeter 1.4 G and 20 uh, with against this lens see which one you prefer I personally I prefer the the look of 35 millimeter 1.4 G I really like the separation of the subject against the background the bokeh is more prominent and you have a more um, separation 
with the front and the back and I really like that look I got from using the 35 millimeter but 24 is not as much but you get that wide angle and to me that was more useful than the uh, 35 millimeter range and I also have a 50 millimeter so 35 and 50 was sort of close um, that's pretty much it for now so uh, I recommend 85 24 I would shop around I mean not shop around I actually test against 35 millimeter 1.4 see which one you prefer and uh, okay that's pretty much it thank you for viewing